so long. It, it has. feels like probably longer than it actually has. Yes. But we have so much catching up to do. Yes. We do. So, Jeremy, yes. you brought something for I me. Did, yes. I did. I wanted to let Cammy know how ahead of the curve she, she is. Of course I am. Now, today is Cammy's favorite things. And I was watching TV a couple weeks ago, and I saw that Slim Fast now has a keto fat bomb. And Cammy made homemade fat bombs on her favorite things a it few was months my ago. the very yeah. first favorite things. Was it the very first? Was it, it was. number one? We started yeah. out with the fat bombs. Okay. And well, now, so I text yeah. Cammy the other day. I texted her, it was like a Saturday morning, go, Cammy, have you seen this Lump Fast Keto Fat Bombs? And what did you say? Of course I have. Uh, okay, <laughs> but I have to ask you mm -hmm. Cammy's are better, right? Oh, Cam well, Cammy's oh, no. are delicious, mm -hmm. but these are peanut butter filled. Oh, my goodness. These are, and these are instant gratification. So I brought too. some for you guys to try if you want to try it. Yeah. Do you love them? I. Okay, so, so, so this For is... For something that's packaged, it's really good. Look at us. All we want to do is eat. And it's <laughs> easier. Cammy, do you want to have this one or you can half it with me? You know what? I can't get it right open. Here, I'll half it with you. Me. You want to okay. cut it in half or we can't get that? Let's not get that. Here, I'll just break you off a piece. Just this break seriously is so delicious. Oh, here. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And that's it my is. favorite Seriously. thing in the world. It is so good. Like, Cammy's are so delicious, good. but this saves you the hassle of having to make it. You know, you can just buy it. Quench your sweet tooth a little bit. You know what I should do? I sh I should turn in my Reese's and, and eat these instead. They're better for me. They are. And they it are the delicious. Same. What do you think? I love it. Can you I'll do? Can you change over? I could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love mm -hmm. these. So mm -hmm. I just want to say, Pammy, ahead of the curve on everything. Your favorite things are now nationally favorite things. What can I say? What can you say? Okay, another Slim one. Slim Bass copied me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better get some money back on that deal. Okay. What, what is your favorite thing today? Well, today we are doing a dip. And this is kind of fancy. Like, I love to serve this for company. So I have keto food in my mouth here. I'm trying to swallow <laughs> as I talk. But basically, we have, we're going to roast some garlic. Okay. And then we're going to use a reduced balsamic vinegar. And it's basically for a bread dip, but I don't do a lot of bread. So I, ha okay. I brought some crackers for okay, us that are cool. like awesome. crackers. So super easy thing to do. You basically, actually, I'm going to cut this side. Okay. Cut the, you know, the t bottom or the, the tip off of okay. a whole huge mm -hmm. clove of garlic. Now, the recipe would call for four of these. And then what we're going to do here. Okay. Gonna, mm, smell that garlic. I smell it. Yeah. It's going to smell your house up so good. It's, gonna, it's delicious. Okay. So you would put that in foil. Let me go ahead and cut this one up real quick. That one's growing some new stuff I there. know. It's got some tentacles there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, oh, so you'll put delicious. it in the foil, mm -hmm. and then where'd my oil go? Oh, there it is. Yes. So you're just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil. Olive yes. oil there we go. is probably the preferred oil for that. And then you can put a little bit of salt and pepper, just sprinkle on top. Mm -hmm. mm. Love salt. It. Some pepper. Okay, so this will go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. But you're, okay. you're gonna, I would do about four of those. Yes. And just close it up and stick it in the oven. Okay, okay. That's 45 it. minutes. That's Your house it. will smell amazing. Okay, so then when it's done, Magic Cat TV, I have some that's yes. finished for oh, us. Very here. good. Ooh, this yummy. Is beautiful. Yummy, oh, yummy, yummy. And yes. so I'm wearing gloves because roasted garlic gets really sticky. Yes. And so, give me that bowl over there. Okay, and yes, ma'am. And right. we are going to. Oh, you just squeeze it out. Basically, squeeze it out. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So you'll see all those little cloves. We'll hold it up to the camera oh. in just a second. But I yeah, love it. it's easy. It's really sticky though. So. Is it? Gloves or have a sink okay. nearby. So. Wow. That's so you do that. That's much easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah. So then you can take balsamic vinegar and just dump some. The recipe would call for a third cup of vinegar. Now okay. here's the whole key. This is my <laughs> whole key to make it successful. I reduce my vinegar, which means you put it on a saucepan okay. on the on the stove top mm -hmm. and heat it up, and it like boils out a lot of the liquid. It condenses okay. it down, and it becomes very sweet. And I think to me oh. that makes it a whole step above just regular dipping right. oil. Right. It gets sweeter. Oh. It. Nice. It'll make it thicker. And a word to the wise, don't leave it alone because once it starts to reduce, it burns very oh, okay. quickly. Oh, okay. So you just Watch want it. it. I mean, if you can kind of see, I don't know if you see that. It's yeah. a little, it's definitely thicker than a normal vinegar. Mm -hmm. And again, you can boil it more than that and it'll become a real thick syrup just before it burns. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour so that keep in. Watching it. Yeah. Yes, don't that leave it. That can happen it. quickly. I have burned it a number of times. Yes. But man, when you do that, when you heat that vinegar up, it is delicious. And then it calls for a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. 
You guys, this is like the easiest thing in the world, and it is so beautiful and so good. Grab a spoon, Jeremy. Mm, okay. okay. Okay, kind of mash it back. Okay, mash it. Mm -hmm. Mash the garlic. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I've never roasted yeah, garlic, I don't think. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't oh, realize it was that should. easy. Oh, my goodness, yes. You can put it in anything, too. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It does okay. smell really it good. It smells really good. I love balsamic okay. vinegar. Again, if I were serving this to company, I would get a nice crusty bread because I think that that would be the yeah. way to do it. Warm it up, you know. Yeah. Um, but today we're going to try it with these almond crackers. Okay. You could, oh, also throw some salt in there. Let me do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll, you know, it kind I'll of reminds wait for me of salt. those Italian restaurants that they have it on the table yep. where you put the oh, olive yeah, oil yeah. and the yeah. balsamic that and you dip good. your bread That's in. That's exactly what it is. Here. Let yep. me get to your gotcha. cracker yeah. there. Okay. So Make sure to get some garlic on it. Get that. some garlic. Mix, oh, boy, we're going to smell good today, aren't we? <laughs> you are. I feel sorry <laughs> for the rest of the guests on the show today. <laughs> we're going to have some garlic abarea. I got to taste that. Okay, hold on. That is spectacular. Isn't that wonderful? I'm like you, Cammy. I'm trying not to do a lot of bread, but if you've mm -hmm. got one of those breads where it soaked it all oh, up, that would yeah. be so yeah, good. Yeah, it would be better on bread, but I that is so good. The garlic with it. That garlic and is that, just is great. Isn't that not delicious? Mm -hmm. And again, I think do reducing that yeah. vinegar is key. You can do it without that step. Mm -hmm. It'd be really fast to not mm -hmm. do that. But it just makes it sweet. My husband, when I was making this last night, he's like, what are you making? And I was explaining. He's like, oh, it's just magical what vinegar does. It when is. You know. It really is. Oh, you've got a big one. That's so how sweet doing, it gets. I'm not going to talk really close to you anymore, I promise. No, that's okay. I'm I have really the worried about my breath. I have the same thing going on. But I will tell you, you these crackers it, are crunchy. Mm. I love these crunchy yeah. crackers. Now, they're, Jeremy, they're good crackers, but like you said, it'd be better on bread that would just soak up. Yeah, but that's so good. So good. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This oh is gosh. perfect for company, or if you're just having appetizers, or before even a holiday meal, you know, anything. Summer, winter, you it know, doesn't matter. I think it's delicious. It's, garlic is kind of a, a pain to have to cut up. You uh -huh. just cut the end off, and you just bake and it. And then squeeze it out. It just literally mm -hmm. just comes out by itself if you just squeeze it. Yeah, that no so cutting good. and chopping That's involved. Like addictive. Yeah, and yeah. I only <laughs> have this, so I'm not going to double dip. But oh it my goodness. It is so addictive. <laughs> it's so we great. We some more of this and get those fat bombs out for I you. Know, right? <laughs> we have our salty, and we have our sweet. It's perfect. <laughs> I love those fat bombs. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Now I, that I know, where'd you get them? Walmart. Okay, here I come. Look for any slim, fast products. Products. They have a whole line now, and they've actually expanded. Yeah. I saw a new commercial where they have even more. They have some like a, a shake. You can make a powder keto shake. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, and yeah. then they also have like the. Uh, they look like energy bars. You know, like a granola I've bar. I've had those. And mm -hmm. they're delicious too. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. And this is so this is good. amazing. Candy. A whole new world. Thank you so much. A whole yeah. new. World. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up, we're talking with Sean Spire, the Springfield Regional Opera. He might sing for us too, maybe. I don't know. Oh, maybe so. Okay, we'll do that. Mm. Mm. Wow.